Victoria is one of the most diverse and beautiful states in Australia. From its stunning coastline to its alpine regions, Victoria has much to explore. The state capital, Melbourne, is a cosmopolitan city with a great food and shopping scene. There are also lots of outdoor activities to enjoy in Victoria, from hiking and cycling to water sports. And, of course, no visit to Victoria would be complete without seeing some of the state's iconic wildlife, including koalas, kangaroos, and penguins. Here's a look at the best places to visit in Victoria. Number 10. Albury Wodonga The twin cities of Albury and Wodonga are on the banks of the Murray River, straddling Victoria and New South Wales. The cities are separated by the river and the border of Victoria. Albury is on the north bank and Wodonga is on the south bank. The two cities are in the same time zone and share the same postcode. They are not officially joined as one city, but have grown together over time. The main attractions in Albury are the Murray Art Museum Albury, which has modern visual arts displays and programs, the Hume Dam, a historic dam with a lookout platform, and the Albury Botanic Gardens, which have a historical setting with a children's space. In Wodonga, the main attractions are the Wanga Wetlands, the Army Museum Bandiana, and the Yindi Emara Sculpture Walk, which is a walking trail with sculptures. There are also several parks and gardens in both cities, including the Norwell Park Foreshore in Albury and the Bongilla Migrant Experience in Wodonga. Number 9. The Grampians The Grampians National Park is home to Aboriginal rock art, as well as a variety of hiking trails, waterfalls, and lookouts. Mackenzie Falls is one of the most popular waterfalls in the park, with a vista point that offers stunning views of the falls and the surrounding area. Baroka Lookout is another excellent spot for panoramic views, while Reed Lookout provides picturesque views of the valley and mountains. Venus Baths is a must-see for hikers, with rock pools and natural slides that are perfect for cooling off after a long day on the trail. Hall's Gap Zoo is also worth a visit, with a varied mix of native and exotic animals. Mount William is a scenic peak that can be reached via a moderate hiking trail, and at the top, you'll be rewarded with incredible views of the surrounding area. Lake Belfield is a great spot for swimming, picnicking, and taking in the stunning mountain views. Splitters Falls is a seasonal waterfall that is particularly beautiful in the springtime. And last but not least, Lake Wardock is a beautiful lake that is perfect for fishing, hiking, and enjoying the park and gardens. Number 8. Malakuta. Malakuta may be a small town, but it's big on natural beauty. The town is known for its beaches, Krojengolong National Park, and Gabo Island. The Krojengolong National Park is a vast wilderness area with plenty of beaches and forests to explore. Gabo Island is home to a pink granite lighthouse, which is definitely worth a visit. Betka Beach is an ocean beach at the Betka River's mouth, and Quarry Beach is a beautiful beach surrounded by cliffs. Secret Beach is another hidden gem and Cape Howe Marine National Park is definitely worth checking out. Bastion Point offers stunning views of the lake, and Lake Barracuda is a great place for camping. Number 7. Phillip Island Phillip Island is just off the southern coast of the Australian mainland. Over the years, the island has developed into a world-famous tourist destination due to its many attractions, the most famous of which is the Penguin Parade. In this nightly spectacle, dozens of penguins make their way home. There's also the Phillip Island Wildlife Park, home to a wide variety of animals, including kangaroos, wombats and emus. The Nobby Centre has great views of the sea and penguins. Finally, the island is home to a racetrack, as well as several other attractions, such as the Phillip Island Chocolate Factory in Churchill Island, a heritage farm full of animals and exhibits.
Wilson's Promontory, or the Prom as it's known to locals, is a stunning national park located at the southern tip of mainland Australia. The park is home to some of the most beautiful beaches in the country, including Squeaky Beach, Norman Beach, and Little Waterloo Bay. Visitors can also hike to the top of Mount Oberon for dramatic views, or explore the many gardens and parks within the national park boundaries. There are also plenty of opportunities for bird watching, as well as fishing and boating in the calm waters of Corner Inlet. And no visit to Wilson's Promontory would be complete without a walk along the Tidal River footbridge or a swim at one of the many pristine beaches. Number 5. Bendigo Bendigo is a city with a rich history and plenty of things to see and do. The Central Deborah Gold Mine is a great place to learn about the city's mining past, and the vintage talking tram tours are a great way to see the city. There are also art galleries to explore, including the Bendigo Art Gallery which has been exhibiting international art since 1887. Other great attractions include the Golden Dragon Museum, which is a Chinese heritage center with a garden and the Bendigo Tramways, which offer heritage tours on vintage trams. For a taste of nature, be sure to visit Rosalind Park, which is a leafy park with gardens and a conservatory, or the Bendigo Botanic Gardens, which were established in 1857. Number 4. Mornington Peninsula The Mornington Peninsula, located to the south of Melbourne, is a popular tourist destination for its variety of activities and attractions. Soak in the healing waters of the Peninsula Hot Springs, stroll through the sprawling vineyards and sculpture park at Point Leo Estate, get lost in the hedge maze at Ashcombe Maze and Lavender Gardens, or take a ride in Arthur's Seat Eagle, a gondola ride with sweeping views of the area. Nature lovers will enjoy swimming, hiking, and surfing in Mornington Peninsula National Park, while history buffs can explore the Cape Shank Lighthouse Museum and take tours of this nautical landmark. For a taste of the local flavor, be sure to visit Foxy's Hangout Winery and Farm to Table Restaurant, or enjoy a sandy beach day at Bushrangers Bay. Finally, don't miss the Mornington Peninsula Regional Gallery, showcasing Australian and landscape art. Number 3. St Kilda St Kilda is a beachside suburb of Melbourne, with its own unique flavor. St Kilda's main attraction is Luna Park, an old-fashioned theme park dating from 1912, with an antique carousel and the oldest wooden roller coaster still operating in the Southern Hemisphere. The Jewish Museum has exhibits on Jewish culture and history, while the St Kilda Botanical Gardens are a serene place with roses and exotic trees. Ackland Street is a lively hub for global dining and shopping, while the Palais Theatre hosts live music and ballet. In a 1920s venue, the weekly St. Kilda Esplanade Market features art and handmade goods. St. Kilda Adventure Playground has a large children's playground, while the St. Kilda Sea Baths are a popular swimming spot. Number 2. The Great Ocean Road The Great Ocean Road is one of Victoria's most iconic attractions. The road stretches along the rugged coastline for almost 250 kilometers, offering breathtaking ocean views. There are plenty of stops along the way to enjoy the scenery, including Triplet Falls, Mates Rest, and Erskine Falls. For those looking for a more adventurous experience, there are also zip lines, elevated walks, and quirky trails at Otway Fly Treetop Adventures. Other highlights include Hopetown Falls, Cape Otway Lighthouse, and Teddy's Lookout. For a truly unique experience, make sure to visit the Point Addis Marine National Park, where you can see an abundance of marine life. There are also plenty of beaches to enjoy, 
including Lorne Beach and Point Road Night. And for the best views, be sure to check out Mariner's Lookout and the Memorial Arch at Eastern View. Number 1. Melbourne. With its extensive collection of Australian and international art, the National Gallery of Victoria is a great place to start your exploration of Melbourne. For sweeping views of the cityscape, head to the Melbourne Skydeck, or for a taste of nature, stroll through the beautifully landscaped Royal Botanic Gardens of Victoria. If you're looking for a unique shopping experience, be sure to check out Queen Victoria Market. And when you need a break from all the sightseeing, relax in Fed Square a contemporary central public space. Other must-see attractions in Melbourne include the Melbourne Museum and the Melbourne Cricket Ground. Last but not least, don't leave Melbourne without taking a ride on one of the iconic trams that have served the city continuously since 1885.